name is Thomas Ramey. I'm a sculptor. I work in Sacramento, California. I have a studio in downtown Sacramento. I mainly work in steel. I do a lot of uh, public art and private commission, mainly stainless, core tin, uh, and mild steel. I got into welding kind of uh, as a sort of a family tradition thing. My dad was a mechanical engineer for IndyCar racing, so I grew up working in machine shops. A couple of years ago, Trey had actually approached me because he does some art consulting in Sacramento and California, and he had a project for DPR construction. I did a 10-foot uh, by 5-foot conference table for them at their office in Natomas. So when the newer project came, they decided they were gonna build this, uh, I guess it'd be their headquarters here now in downtown Sacramento. They put out a call for artists to do some other more intricate work, some more art related projects. I had been talking to one of the guys at DPR and he said, you know, we've had nobody really talk to us about these bike racks and we really wanna do something fun outside of there. And I thought, okay, bike racks, that seems a little simpler and I can, I can probably squeeze that into my schedule. This building is so well designed and so uh, intentional in terms of the changes they've made that it can come off as very kind of serious. And so we wanted with the bike racks for a moment of whimsy. When we first saw it, uh, we, we all laughed, but in a good way. Uh, there's no way to look at it and not have a smile be brought to your face. <laughs> uh, but we were very uncomfortable with it. It's not, it's not our forte, but uh, talking through it and also having the assistance with Trey that, look, we're in Midtown, Midtown's funky, Midtown's eclectic, Midtown's colorful, and this is gonna be in the public space. Let's do this more for the public and less for what we're comfortable with. I wanted something so that every time somebody drove down J Street, it's the most important street in downtown as far as I'm concerned, they might look over and be like, hey, there's those faces, you know. You hear all the time that artists move out of certain cities or go to LA or San Francisco or something. It's because the artists don't have opportunities. For an organization like DPR to bring in artists and say, here's what we've got, here's our basic idea, really give you a blank slate to work off of, really makes you feel that I can actually show people what I can do, what I'm capable of, and it's a permanent thing for the city. So I'm gonna be a permanent part of the city. It's a really wonderful feeling for an artist.